backstabbed Jeff Sessions just got really bad news in Chicago. Look what happened. In a major ruling, a federal judge in Chicago blocked the Trump administration from requiring so-called sanctuary cities from cooperating with immigration agents in order to get a public safety grant. U.S. District Judge Harry Lineweber wrote in a 41-page ruling that the Chicago has that Chicago has shown a likelihood of success in its arguments that the U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has overreached his authority when he cut off sanctuary cities from federal funding. The judge also ruled that Mayor Rahm Emanuel's administration could suffer irreparable harm with immigration communities if the Jeff Sessions implemented if the Jeff Sessions implemented the if Jeff Sessions implemented the new standards. You have to excuse me. Once such trust is lost, it cannot be repaired through an award of money damages making it the type of harm that is especially hard to rectify if he, uh, Rahm Emanuel, were to wait till the lawsuit is settled. This is total BS and it just goes to show how powerful the swamp is. When we took government long ago, there were three branches of government. It wasn't the judiciary, the legislative, the executive branch, and some judge in Hawaii and Chicago. Share this everywhere. If you think that Jeff Sessions has every right to take back funding from these cities that are more interested in helping illegals than they are citizens. Let's take a listen here. Jeff Sessions to sanctuary cities to comply with laws or lose the financial. Department of Justice has a duty to enforce our nation's laws, including our immigration laws. Those laws require us to promptly remove aliens when they are convicted or detained of certain crimes. Failure to deport aliens who are convicted of criminal offenses puts whole communities at risk, especially immigrant communities in the very sanctuary jurisdictions that seek to protect the perpetrators. Today, I'm urging states and local jurisdictions to comply with these federal laws including 8 U.S.C. Section 1373. Moreover, the Department of Justice will require that jurisdictions seeking or applying for Department of Justice grants to certify compliance with 1373 as a condition of receiving those awards. This policy is entirely consistent with the Department of Justice's Office of Justice Programs guidance that was issued just last summer under the previous administration. This guidance requires state and local jurisdictions to comply and certify compliance with Section 1373 in order to be eligible for OJP grants. It also made clear that failure to remedy violations could result in withholding grants, termination of grants, and disbarment or ineligibility for future grants. The Department of Justice will also take all lawful steps to claw back any funds awarded to a ju jurisdiction that willfully violates 1373. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you don't have if you don't have laws, if you don't have laws, then what kind of a country do you have? Do you see what I'm saying? You, you, they're more these judges, these liberal judges, are more concerned over illegal immigrants than they are of their own people. No, the funding should be cut, ASAP, exactly. You know, this is ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.